I am willing to talk about something that some might see as taboo, some might outright say it's racist, but for me, I'm exploring this topic and I think it's important to create a space where we can have these open conversations. This is really a story about uh, demographics more than anything. Here's my observation. Women who suffer from eating disorders, historically, and when I say historically, I mainly mean like in the 80s and 90s, you know, when there'd be an after school special, you know, about that or a special episode of whatever the show was, when it came to eating disorders, typically it was a female and she was white and she was middle class. And there have been studies on this. You can Google it. There have been studies on the fact that, especially in the 80s and 90s, white girls who were middle class were most likely to end up being the ones who had some kind of eating disorder, whether it was anorexia, bulimia, whatever it was, those were the demographics. So rich or poor, not so much. Any race other than white, not so much. But it's specifically, and what that tells me is that demographics can actually play a role on what things you face in life from a negative perspective. And I made a video recently talking about how even your skin color, and we've noticed this, can predict what kind of terrorist a man might be. <laughs> the whiter he is, more likely he is to be a crazy guy in America with a gun that shoots up a building. But if his skin is darker, he's more likely to be someone who has a bomb overseas and is, is a radical Muslim terrorist, you know, ISIS or whatever. That's what we're seeing. We're, we're seeing terrorism show up in different ways. And, and I talked about in my other video how demographically the, the white crazy men typically tend to be middle class and the Muslim terrorists that blow up stuff tend to be from places of poverty. Okay, so I think it's interesting and that's what got me thinking about this is now that demographics are changing in America, you know, and even where I live, like anytime I go to my kid's school, like there's plenty of interracial marriage and biracial children and it's normal now. And that's my point. My point is now that we're, you know, in the year 2018, are we seeing a situation where eating disorders are no longer just affecting the same demographic? Because demographically in America, we're becoming more alike. You know, it's not simply that white people are, are rich and everyone else has, there's, education is more accessible now. And what's happening is, demographically, we're becoming more alike, which is, in my opinion, one of the reasons why interracial marriage is more prominent now than it was before. Because if we're all more similarly educated, demographically, we're more alike, and especially if we have the same religion, we're more likely to, for there not to be those boundaries that keep us back. And I think money itself and education actually prevented that, even in addition to all of the stigma that was still left over from civil rights and that sort of thing, okay? But my point is this, I wonder, and I'm asking, I'm wondering if eating disorders are gonna become more prominent beyond just white girls that are middle class. Because as the middle class grows or shrinks or how, however we all become more homogenized, more alike, and, and it is interesting because people who come from poverty tend not to end up with eating disorders. If anything, they're trying to get enough food. And for whatever reason, uh, people who are very wealthy apparently don't suffer from eating disorders as much as the middle class. It's a middle class, uh, I, I was about to say disease, and I don't wanna say that it's a, a disease because these days you can't say disease. If you say disease, then some people say it is and isn't. And I'm not even interested in that. What I'm saying is certain demographics are more prone to certain situations than others demographically. So, any thoughts on that? Any, any studies on that? In that eating disorders are gonna become more prominent outside of just, like it was in the 80s and 90s, middle class white girl. Are we gonna see this in other races? Are we gonna see this? I wasn't gonna say in other, other uh, demographics as far as how much money you make, but it, again, it all depends on what are we exactly counting the middle class, is the middle class growing? Is it shrinking? And how does all that, we're becoming more alike. Undoubtedly in America, we're becoming more homogenized. And therefore, does that have an effect on certain 
situations like eating disorders and who the, it affects. I, I think this is fairly uncharted territory because it's so taboo that you can't talk about it. And that's why I wanted to make a video, not for the sake of being controversial, but for the sake of being able, for us being open and minded and intelligent people to be able to have this conversation. So very interested to know what other people have to say about it. I'm interested. I want to know about it. And I don't want to be naive to, to say, well, this doesn't exist. No, it, it does. And things are changing. So I want to understand them better. Comments here. Do it.